And welcome back. Carrie Hefner is here to talk about, and I, I'm going to butcher it. Somebody's going to call I and will say, too. she said it wrong. I'm going to say, <laughs> we say poinsettia. Oh, okay. But some people say poinsettia, some pe poinsettia, I don't know. Right. It's, it's spelled with IA at the end, and uh -huh. it's, it's spelled poinsettia, but my North Carolina draw comes out, and it comes out poinsettia. Yeah, so, me too. But, oh well, uh, both are acceptable, just like how you spell crepe myrtle. It's and a it's a plant. point of discussion. It is. Great holiday plant in a traditional holiday plant, native to uh, Mexico and Central America. And w its botanical name is Euphorbia pulcherima. But next time you're on Jeopardy, now you know. But it's named <laughs> after Joel Roberts Poinsett. That's where the name comes from. He was the first U.S. envoy to Mexico way back when. Are and you despite what we might hear in the popular um, media and on social media and so forth, they are not deadly toxic plants. They do exude a latex that can be a skin irritant, would certainly irritate uh, the mouth of a pet if they were to come along and pick a leaf off, chew a leaf off. Um, but mainly as far as pets are concerned, the worst thing we would worry about is maybe a mild stomach upset, but not lethal, not deadly toxic like okay. uh, uh, believed to be. And so when you go to the supermarket or to your garden center to pick out your Christmas poinsettias, look for plants that are nice and full like this one. Look for flowers, and I have a picture of the actual flowers here, are actually the, the little yellow uh, structures in the centers. The little cup-like structures are called cyathea, and the little flowers are in they're very nondescript. The red part that we see here is actually a leaf called a bract, B-R-A-C-T, and it, st it takes many months, um, several months to get them to turn this red. They start the dark treatment uh, actually uh, like six months before Christmas to get them to turn this color. And so while they're inside, keep your poinsettias in a sunny location, away from air vents so the temperature around them is stable. And just feel with your finger uh, in the pot when the soil feels dry to the touch, you want to remove the plant from the foil wrapper and set it down in the sink, uh, in the kitchen or bathroom sink, water it, let it drain well, make sure the pot has holes at the bottom for water to drain through and then you can put it back in the foil wrapper and you're good to go. And then the question always is, well, what can I do with it after Christmas? They actually, they're sort of like pineapples. They love our summers. They don't like our winters, but when the weather warms up, they can go outside. You can put them in a larger pot and then about Labor Day, you would start the dark treatment. Um, give them about 16 hours of darkness and eight hours of light and um, um, with some tender loving care, they should hang on. I've, I've been to several uh, uh, houses out in a, being out and about, and a lot of people actually do uh, uh, are able to get their poinsettias to, to get through the winter, and then they go outside and make great plants for outside. So I did not. Know. So in a pot, you can <laughs> mm -hmm. just leave it in a yeah, pot and then yeah. put it in the dark. Now, is there a difference? Is there anything you need to do uh, for white? It would work the same way. The, the, the leaves are going to be green, and so to mm -hmm. get the, uh, the, the color effect, uh, you, they still need a dark treatment. Uh, while they're outside, part the full sun. Again, just keep them well watered, keep them well drained, and maybe a tablespoon of a slow-release fertilizer. Other than that, um, they're on their own. So. Absolutely beautiful plants, right. and um, I believe we are out of time, Carrie. Okay. I was waiting for a, a time cue, but um, <laughs> but thank you so much okay. for that. Okay, wait, we have about 30 seconds left. Have about 30 seconds. Uh, Master Gardener Seminar coming up on Saturday, January 15th. Special guest P. Allen Smith, and another very special guest, legendary seed saver John Koykendall. That's at the West Monroe Convention Center, January 15th. It's going to be great. All yep. right, thank you so much, Carrie, okay. for coming on the show. And